When I was first just in the gears of the machine, skateboarding professionally in the right position, everyone loves you, you know, like there's few skateboarders or, or even humans who've had to deal with their actual following turning on them. Uh, Sheckler had to and he prevailed, which is awesome, you know, Kanye's had it before. It's a unique position and it helped me gain a lot of understanding. And one saying that I always say is I, I don't care the content of a conversation, but any time that I'm a topic of one, I'm grateful. We watched some old videos of me before I retired when I was like driving an Aston Martin and had hella money and was perfectly in the cool kids club. And then we watched some new ones of me, like the ones that got the message boards talking and things like that, like the ones, whatever, just random videos, you know? Dun 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 dun. Jay Casanova. <laughs> you smell me? You should smell me. That's million dollar cologne. And I bathe in it. Damn! It was in such a dramatic change that going from this kind of frail little timid human to this like, I don't care what anyone thinks about me, bold lioness type person, I can see how I could have been perceived that I was on drugs because my personality did such a 360. It really, uh, it, it seemed that drugs was the only way that that could happen. In 2010, when I got back into skating and I started skating again, you know, if I'm gonna skate, I wanna skate to the best of my abilities. And if I'm gonna do business and skate, I had already done great business, so I wanted to go forward, if anything. Only cars and idiots go backwards. So, you know, I couldn't just go ride for anybody. You know, I already rode for the best brands in the world, for Plan B, for Girl. Creating a brand was a way to do something new, to go forward, to be my own boss, and to not continue just making other people rich, you know? It was the move that felt right for me, was to create a brand, you know? Selfish was actually my corporation that I would get paid to when I was making like about a million dollars a year. And uh, what it means to me is I think that the world would be a better place if everyone was a little more selfish. If you're selfish where you have no value for anyone else, then it's no good. But if there's a certain level of selfishness a human has where they're willing to put themselves first and live off of what is best for self over what everyone else may want or suggest for them, then they end up in turn being better for everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check it out. Now all the setups you thought you stepped up to get your rep up. Jokes on you, Jack. True that. The team happened organically. It wasn't like, oh, let's find and put together this whatever. Like winning had got off plan B and, and he worked. He was a good person who had a name already who it wasn't just me doing a brand then, it was an actual team. And through winning, he brought aboard this kid, Kyle Nicholson. He was a beast. He's um, one of my favorite AMs in the world and one of my favorite people to watch skate. Linked up with Terrell Robinson. Got this kid, Yanni Latiella. What happened with winning? Um, winning just wasn't doing anything. At the beginning, he was just a name to attach to it, so it wasn't just Jeremy Rogers Skateboards, so it was an actual brand, you know what I mean? If he had done the work and wanted to, you know, be on his top level that he can be on, then we would have still been together, you know? I mean, he's physically not really in shape, and he had, didn't skate or put out really any content over the whole year or something that he was on, so there's only so much that you can get paid for a job and not do the job. Skating. I'm skating better than ever. My style is better. I have more grace and comfort on the skateboard than I did before. 
When I go skate, I'm more confident and more in tune and present than I've ever been. So it's, it's, it's different for me, you know? But it's, it's not important to me if I ever win another contest or something. You know, I've won enough contests in my past where it's not gonna prove anything to myself or anyone else or change anything really, you know what I mean? I want to show you guys my new bitch. Thought of that name. My name right there. Pretty cool. Colors match the wheels. Obviously it looks like a Christmas gift, the way I want that shit to look. I definitely get approached a lot about people asking me about the graphics. Uh, right now I'm riding a boy, Rogers. Looks like a girl board. It looks like my first girl board ever. And it's the girl's restroom sign, but then there's a little, you know, between the legs, a little ding ding, a little ding dong. We have one that's like CGK and looks like DGK, but it's classy ghetto kids. And we did an alien workshop one. It's like, I think it's like sex workshop or something. We did a real board. It's Jeremy Rogers and it says like fake instead of real and it looks like a real board and it's cool, you know what I mean? You know, I don't know how you could even really be mad at us knocking off your graphic or anything like that or, or, or taking a stab at you because for starters, by us doing that, we're saying that you are of value to even be paid attention to. They should be honored that we even consider them worth knocking off, you know? Sometimes when you want to go skateboard, you gotta do it yourself. I like the idea of a brand name and that someone can hate me but still like Selfish. We're 100% Canadian Maple. They could be like, this is a great quality skateboard, which it is. And and ride everyone else's board but mine. They could hate me and, and still want a selfish board because maybe they like the team or another guy or the boards. And if it was Roger's skateboards, then if they hated me, granted, you wouldn't want one at all. My vision for Selfish for the next five years, I definitely see it uh, being one of the main brands. Basically, the position I've carved out for myself and the one that I'm going to continue to is one where I don't have to answer to anyone, I don't have to, I don't even play by industry rules by any means, you know what I mean? Like, my interest right now is not in writing for people, it's in, it's in creating brands and, if anything, people writing for me. Music is great. Again, it's the same thing with the with the skating, where it's just uh, it's something I do at this point. It's not something that I really practice. It's still something I get better at. I know what it's like to get better at something. I've experienced it with skateboarding. I know that you can pick something up and learn how to do it. I wanted people to see me learn how to do something. What I did by pursuing music and and, and quitting my nine to five per se and going full force was showing the next person who's scared to quit their nine to five that they can and that they can pursue what they want. And I also wanted to, on open public display, let them see me go from sucky to better to finally to a point where it's respectable. You know what I mean? And that progress was important to show for me. Wordplay phenomenal, make other rappers a comical tongue like a Tommy Gun, killing them like Montana does. I've just continued to do it and stayed so diligent that it's like, okay, well, the idea that we're just gonna get him to quit is, that's done, that's out the window. He's obviously not gonna stop. I would put out a video and literally get 100% dislikes to now, like the last couple of videos I've put out, I've won the like bar contest, you could say. There's more likes than dislikes. Music is a funny thing. Just like a skater could put out one video part and matter to people, a music artist can put out one song and one video and then be famous off that, you know? So I'm at the point where it doesn't matter whether it happens tomorrow or next month, in a very sh short while, the next song and video that I put out will be one that changes the whole view of things. Like, one where it's not deniable, where like there's catchy things and oh that's hot and you can't deny it. It just, it sounds good, it's just good made music. Just like someone can skateboard on a level where whether you like Sheckler, or you like Niger, or you like Paul, you can't take away the fact that they know how to do what they're doing. can't necessarily control everything going around outside of you, but you have the ability to consciously create your universe more freely and kind of, in a sense, consciously control events and circumstances and, and, and be working with them instead of them working against you. And life doesn't have to be happening to you, you can be happening to life, you know?
If I get on a rap song and say something about 50 Cent and he responds, I'm gonna be f***ing psyched. Even if he says, you little head white kid, you da da da, I'm gonna be like, hell yeah, you know who this head white kid is, you know?